Welcome to Reggie's Corner. So, um, we are back with part two of the zombie killing game Invention 2. And we will pick up right where we left off in the first part, which would be in the sewers. We have had no story whatsoever, so we don't really know what's going on. But we are in New York. And also, this is probably the last part of the game. So, let's get cracking. Sprint, 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 you know, let's let's have a snack real quick, cause we can. Hmm. It's very very dark in here. Just chop at everything so we don't get jumped by some nasty ghoulies. Looks like a pump room or something like that. Ouch. Rude. I mean, he, he gets a point because he charged a bro with a samurai sword. And the only thing he has is a deep, booming voice, uh, quite an appetite, and that's about it. So, yeah. That's about it. Okay, so we can go up here and go through the other place. Not so... Oh, wow, this was really... Oh, that's locked. Okay, so that solves that. We need to do something before we can go up here. Can we do something with this? No, nothing useful. I can hear some disturbing sounds. Fortunately, I was well prepared and he didn't do, well, anything really. Is that like the, the previous foreman at the at the sewer station? So now we have a key. Chink! That was very sturdy glass. Maybe it was bulletproof or zombie-proof glassing or sword-proof glassing. Anyway, off we go. I think that was probably the key that we needed to get out of here. Hey, we got some skyscrapers. We are back on the streets. Not sure. We're getting a lot of stuff here. Um, we haven't really needed a lot of them. <laughs> so maybe we're doing better than we were supposed to. But this sword is just the business. As long as we have this sword, nothing can go wrong. Isn't that right, Mr. Zombie in the t-shirt? Even though that sound was kind of sturdy, how about his identical twin? No, he wasn't any better. Judge. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Game kind of jumped on me for there. Okay, can't do anything with that door. We have to maneuver this uh, kind of dreary looking car park, I have to say. Nothing much we can do here, I guess. Whoop! Where did you come from? Yeah, I did, I did hear you though. It's not a good idea to growl when trying to sneak up on someone with a sword. You'll end up hurting yourself. And that's exactly what happened to those zombies. If they hadn't already been dead, they would have certainly regretted that. Yeah. Little pile of nothing. Got another police car here. So, at least we've seen three police cars and only one police. So, maybe they left their cars and ran for it. Or something like that. Just for science, how much more can the... Oh, we have a lot of... A lot of health left in that blade. I think 
the durability of stuff is actually a little bit better than in the first game uh, so that's good for us but it makes the game uh, quite a bit easier I would say so maybe we're back inside for good now see it's a cool little warehouse try to slap me when I look the other way won't have any of that. Is there anything we can do in here? It's a little lift. Oh, a double stab. That's nice. That is it's just swordsmanship, isn't it? Absolute swordsmanship. And we can do anything with that. Oh, so now we're actually outside again. Makes me kind of wonder if we could have done something with that other thing, uh, door in there. I'm not sure. I mean, we can go up there. Um, okay, up we go. Okay, that doesn't sound very good. This, yeah, this is where we we're supposed to go, I would think. We'll scurry behind these boxes to make sure that no one can sneak up on us. Well, I'm not really sure how that one sneaked up on us, though. It doesn't really matter. They got the sword. A sword to the face. I'm sorry. Try to uh, sound like a convincing swords person but yeah they got the sword to the face and that was it wasn't it he's running around running around where where you go he was here running just a minute ago oh that's a big nice TV and also some plants got some artsy arts on the wall yeah another very dead person who uh, yeah it's a quite an unnatural pose isn't it can we do something here no what about here then or could we jump out here maybe yeah we could Is there anything? No, there's not. And I would guess we were... We're not supposed to go there either? Are we supposed to go in here? No. Over here then? Down here maybe. Or not maybe, down here definitely. Oh god, we're hungry. Didn't we have anything more to eat? Biscuit. Yes. Delicious. Just about to say, they'll probably swarm us, but yeah, they did exactly that, didn't they? But we still have the sword, so we're okay. We are okay. Another police car? I'm not the most convincing skyline ever, but I guess we're in like the middle of the city now. We do have a cool little bus here. Oh, nothing useful. Like, how do we know that before we actually looked inside the pockets and stuff? That's a very good skill to have. Like, I know before I do, because I'm just that good. Just that good. The goodiest. Okay. Obtake. Is that what it says? Obtake, yeah. Oh, and NYPDs were actually in New York? C 
CPR, courtesy, professionalism and respect. Well, I have to say, New York has looked different before. But at least it's cool that we know where we're supposed to be now. Yeah, I'm not going back for you. because whoa. Oh, that's a big dude. Shotgun, maybe? Because we have a lot of shotgun shells now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we have a lot of shotgun shells. Can sneak out on this row? It wasn't so tough. He looked super burly. Go away. No? There we go. Oh. Ah! He uh, despawned. I was just about to look him in the face and say he was disappointingly easy and he just reneged on the whole deal, didn't he? Um, didn't, yeah, a little biscuit. Little biscuit. To the phase. Another bus? Yeah. Do a little reload here so we don't run out of bullets in the middle of something. Like so. Boop. Yeah. Not so cool now. More ammo? We have a lot of ammo now. I mean, it's it's nice that we don't have a pulp, but I think they might have overdone it a little bit considering how little health these undead have, but, you know. Maybe they thought we would panic a little bit, I'm not sure. Wait for it. And go. Okay, that was a little mean. I didn't. Didn't mean to ramp up her expectations, cause, you know. That's rude. And one shouldn't be rude. Yeah, are we on like the Brooklyn Bridge or something like that? Could be, I guess. Hard to say, another optic bus right there. Alright, so we're now, I'm guessing, in the woods somewhere outside of New York. So upstate New York, maybe? Hard to say. It's quite the little journey there, but yeah. I would say upstate New York somewhere, just to <laughs> make it easy on myself. Bros, they were sporting the same outfit. Can we go up? No, we probably can't really do much of that, can we? The scenery wasn't half bad though. I mean, I have to give them that. It's kinda, kinda cool lightning and stuff like that. Pickup truck. Is there anything we can do here? Boots? Can we? No. Ah, oh, really? Invisible wall just in front of that box. That's a tease if ever there was one. Okay, so where do we. So I'm guessing that means that. Yeah, that's almost broken. And. Nah, it's, that's, that's pretty cool still. Kind of weird though to see that a shotgun is worn out by just being used. If shotguns were that bad, in real life, I for sure wouldn't buy one. Like, ah, oh, you've used 200 shells with this bad boy, it's about to expire, I'm sorry. Yeah, luckily for us though, we didn't have to buy this one, uh, we found it, so we don't really... 
don't really need to be so upset if it breaks down. It's a free began. Let's push on a little bit. If we can, which we could not. Are we supposed to go up here? Yes, yes, that's exactly what we're supposed to do. Still a school bus there. He jumped a little bit there. I think he got scared. He's too dead for that. Can you s jump scare an undead? Not sure. I wouldn't think so, but you know, not an expert here. I do have to say that the shotgun is fairly nice as well. I think we'll use it until it expires. Weapon broken. Shut up. Charge. <laughs> so we really did use it until it broke down. Um, that's cool. Let's switch it out for the AK. And we should do a little, little reload there. So we're all good to go. Can we open? No, we cannot. Pushing on here. We're actually a little bit hungry. Uh, did we have any more tasty stuff to eat? We got an apple, I guess. It's better than... Better than no apple, I guess. Wish we could have eaten some ammunition because we have a lot of that. We have a lot of that. That's a nice car. And that's also a nice car. Okay. Okay, so that was the very abrupt ending to the zombie killing game Invention 2. And I have to say, I am a little bit disappointed with this sequel. Um, for what it's worth, I kind of enjoyed the first one for what it was. Uh, it was super cheap and it was kind of fun. Uh, and you got to kill a lot of zombies. But that game was quite a bit longer than this one and it actually tried to have a bit of a story. This one had none of that. You just started on a sky rise in some city, which turned out to be New York, and then we killed some dudes for like an hour and the game finished. So yeah, uh, I would probably give this like a week two out of five. And that's me being kind of nice to it, seeing as I did enjoy some parts of it. Uh, I do hope that you find people out there had some enjoyment uh, watching me play uh, this game and that I will see you again in other videos in the future. Until then, have the greatest of times and as per usual, game your little souls away. Bye for now. Thank you for watching the video. If you would like to support the channel, either hit like or subscribe.